Hi you two, welcome to Friday afternoon's lesson. Um, we are doing PSHE and it is our last lesson of the terms. Well done, we are so close, we're nearly there. Um, okay, first of all then, can you please write your date and skill into your book? So Friday the 12th of February 2021 and your skill is share success with other people. Pause the video and write that in now please. Okay, so first of all with um, Jigsaw, we always need to remind ourselves of the Jigsaw Charter. So again, just for your grown-ups um, and for you guys as well at home, make sure that you keep this charter in mind throughout the lesson. So they are to keep us all safe and remain respectful towards each other. Obviously, as we've discussed, some of these might be more tricky to do at home than they would be when we were in school, but equally some of them might be a little bit easier as well. Okay, so the Jigsaw Charter. We take turns to speak. We use kind and positive words. We listen to each other. We have the right to pass. We only use names when giving compliments or when being positive and we respect each other's privacy. So that's confidentiality, isn't it? Okay, good job. Right, our aims for this lesson then. Um, so our aim number one is know how to share success with other people. And also uh, aim number two is identify how sharing success feels. Okay. Let's go on to our calm time then. So uh, find yourself a comfortable position. And we're going to just take a minute to focus our minds at the end of another successful week. Well done, guys. We have made it. We're nearly there. Just got one tiny little lesson left to do. So you can close your eyes or lower your gaze. Just think about your calm place. So in school, we've talked about your calm place, maybe being a beach or somewhere in your home or with someone that you love. And we're going to just take three deep breaths whilst we are thinking about that place. So a big deep breath in and slowly breathe out. And again, deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Last time, deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Okay, when you're ready, we are going to move on. Right, so to connect us, I would really like you to think today about the what, what the word team means to you. So it's going to be different for all of us. Um, and I thought carefully about which word to choose uh, when we did this. But I've gone with team because I think it's something that at the moment in particular is really important for us all to think about. Um, and I think it does mean lots of different things to all of us. But... Um, the the general feel will probably be the same within all of us, even though we're not together. So I'd like to just pause the video and have a little chat um, about what the word team means to you. Okay, so um, as I said, I thought carefully about which words to choose here because initially I put teamwork, um, but I actually changed it because I thought teamwork was almost too guided. Um, so for me, the word team means um, a sort of a support network. So it's people that will work together to achieve the same goal. Um, whether you know it's a goal or not, like your family might be a team and although you don't have a goal as such, like we maybe would if you were in a sports team, your goal, I suppose, essentially is to be happy and um, to be safe maybe. And so that is a, a goal that you will work towards as a team, as a group. Equally in class, in yellow class, we are a team, in my opinion, um, and I'm sure gold class, Miss Sullen feels the same, that we all want to work together to make sure that we are all okay and we are all safe and we are all happy, as well as the fact that we are all learning. Um, and it's something that we all have to take responsibility for, not just the teachers or the or lovely Mrs. Randall or Mrs. Marshall, Mrs. Young. We all have to take um, responsibility of our own role that we play in that team. So for me, that's what team means. It might be different for you and that's totally fine. Okay, so um, today's lesson is all about working in a group. So as you obviously know, unfortunately, we are not able to take part in a group challenge that we would have done to start this lesson off. Um, so instead, I'd like us to think back to our Christmas showcase because I know that is probably the last time that we were all together achieving one goal um, in our class teams as it were so i'd like you to just pause the video and think back to the day that you filmed your christmas showcase um, and think about what your role was 
I don't think there is, but if there is anyone that was not in on that day that your class uh, filmed your Christmas showcase, can you think maybe to a, a game that you played in PE or at playtime or lunchtime when um, you played as a group? It doesn't have to be the whole class, but just maybe with your group of friends um, and think about what your role was in that game. Okay, pause the video, off you go. Okay, so for task one then, I would like you to complete these STEM sentences and write them into your book. So the first one, I was pleased with our Christmas showcase because whatever your answer is, you can write that into your book. And then I feel something because um, my class achieved our goal. So we're really thinking about um, our role within the team, within the class that we had. And so again, remember our skill is sharing success with other people because although you in your individual role may have been successful, um, I want you also to think about the bigger success that the class would have had. So um, just bear those in mind whilst you are writing these STEM sentences, please. Okay. Um, also, I'd just like you to take a moment to think about if you can add any of these feelings that you have um, written down or thoughts that you've thought about to your treasure chest that we did in week one. Um, I know we talked about putting in our tummy, so either you can put them in there or in your actual treasure chest that you wrote into your book. So I would say I was pleased with our Christmas showcase because we all had lots of fun. Um, and that to me was what the Christmas showcase was all about. Um, we all had a lovely day in yellow class. I remember feeling really, really proud of you guys, proud of us all, um, because we, and we really supported each other, didn't we? Um, as I'm sure Miss Dullum said the same for gold class, that you, when you weren't acting and you had to sort of, for yellow, we had to sit quietly, didn't we? Because it was horrible weather outside, so we couldn't go outside. And you sat so patiently and so quietly and you really respected the fact that someone else was having their, their time. And, and it was really lovely, um, to have that and then I also put I feel proud because my class achieved our goal because I really did feel proud of you guys that day we all um, really worked as a team it was really nice okay so now I would like you to have a go at discussing these questions now remember back to our jigsaw charter you need to make sure that you are only using kind words um, and only use people's names in a positive way because of course we are talking about other people in our class here Make sure that we are only using people's names in a kind, positive way. Okay, so the first question. Did your class have the skills that the showcase needed? Um, or was there some skill that we maybe didn't have enough of and we had to do something about that? What worked well in your group? So that's all class. Um, and what was that? Uh, sorry, why was that? So what worked well? What could have been better? And if you feel there was a problem, can you explain why there was an issue? So I'd like you to just have a chat about those three questions. You don't have to write anything down. Remember, Jigsaw is all about discussion. Um, so pause the video and have a go at those four questions now, please. Okay, right. Your final task for today then, it's just a short one, as I know it is the last day of term. I would like you to think about something that your class have achieved that you are proud of. So it might be the Christmas showcase, it might be a, a particular lesson, it might be the fact that we've all done this weird remote learning thing for the last six weeks, um, or it could be something entirely different. And it doesn't have to be your whole class, it could be a small group of you, maybe your table group or your talk partner or even your friend group when you're in the playground. And for your final task, I would like you to think um, about that goal that you've achieved um, that makes you feel proud and I'd like you to design a certificate for the goal that you have achieved. So remember to include your class or group name, um, what you've achieved, and of course, colorful patterns. Um, and it, you can either stick this into your book or you can put it up in your house or even in your window. So that if you are, guys are out for a walk, you can see each other's certificates. Um, but it's really sharing our success as a group. What is something that you feel incredibly proud of? So I would say for my certificate, I am incredibly proud of the entire year two team. That's all the staff, all the adults, and of course, all of you guys, because this last six weeks have been very odd. And I don't know if anyone's particularly enjoyed remote learning. Um, I hope you guys have, but I know how strange it is and I know how much you're all missing each other. So I think I'm really proud of the fact that we have done six weeks of learning um, and we are ready for a half term now. So on that note, have a lovely half term if I don't speak to you before. Um, and stay safe, look after each other, and I will speak to you after half term.
Okay, take care. Bye.